her mouth covering her mouth? <gasps> oh my. How many mouths does Jenny have? <laughs> oh, no wonder Mike's really into her. If you can't show, okay, I'm gonna stop right now. Welcome back, everybody, to March of the Living, the Three of Us DLC. I am your host, the zombie slain Birdman, known as Falcon. Let's get underway over here. We're at the, I guess, the safe zone for the first area. We're done with the first area already, mind you. We're heading over to our second destination, which is gonna be over here at Spirit Lake. We're starting off over here. We have a couple of gym. That's actually quite a bit of a far way over there. A lot of jumps involved for that one, huh? Yeah. Well, luckily for us, we do have a lot of good supplies. So for now, let's actually just get underway and make our first little jump here forward. Um, once we get a chance, I have to move my people around. I'm not really too crazy about their positioning here at the moment. Uh, you realize that a sizzle, a sizzle. <laughs> it's very hot and sizzling over here. You realize that a sizable number of infected have begun to follow you. You could easily outrun them, except for one thing. The pad ahead is blocked by a recent traffic accident, which clearly resulted in a large fire. The dead are now pouring towards you in all directions that have cut you off. You now have to choose between fight or flight. Well, that and we also have a pregnant wife who might not be so agile on her feet anymore. Let's not forget that game. Uh, we have fight the infected or brave the flames. Let's go ahead and fight the infected here. There may be a lot of them, but the infected will be easier to deal with than running through the inferno. I, I agree. I definitely agree. Plus, we have like, um, we have crossbow country over here, so we're going to be pretty fine, I hope. So let's see here. Let's, uh, yeah. Unpause. Well, actually, before we move anybody around, if they're coming in from the left-hand side, we want to move you over here, Mark over here, and Jenny can just hang out right there. All right, so let's start off here. Michael, take a shot over here, and that's relatively good. Mark, get a shot over here, and Jenny, get a shot over here. Uh, I do know we have some of the grabbers over here. Oh, Jenny missed. Jenny, come on, this is not the time to miss. Reload, reload, reload. I know the grabbers are a bit faster, so they'll be my next targets for sure here. Uh, Michael, right over here. Mark, down over here. Jenny, take another shot. There he goes. Alrighty, pretty good. Oh, reload, reload. Gotta remember to reload. Is there like a shortcut for reloading, I wonder? Maybe like the R? I should probably try R at some point. Boom, boom, boom. Boom! Alrighty. After dropping the last infected, you carefully make your way off the road and around the flaming wreckage, of course. Hey, 14 shotgun shells as well. Pretty good. So, Jenny, post up right over here. You over here. That should be just about fine. Okay, and make sure to reload again. Map it out. And let's see, we have a city. You know what? I'm going to skip that city. I think we're doing relatively good in supplies. So, I just want to head over here as soon as possible. So, maybe a jump over here and then up here. So, we definitely have to go through this side, I'm going to say. I mean, we could go through the middle, but it seems like a longer portion north afterwards. So, we might as well just head, like, northeast. Uh, while walking along the road, Jenny suddenly speaks up. I wonder what my mother is doing right now. What? Uh, what did you think of her? Jenny shrugs. I don't know. I guess I was thinking how nice it would be to have her to help with the baby. I didn't even call her. When the rotters came, we just kind of got out of there fast. Well, I mean, that wouldn't make sense. I mean, you kind of don't have time to sit by and be like, Well, give me a second, zombie. I gotta call my mom and let her know that we're actually hitting the road pretty soon. Otherwise, you will chomp on us. Um, well, they did take down the mobile phone infrastructure fast, so to try to prevent panic. Mark rolls his eyes. That didn't work. But I wonder how she's doing. Mm, I don't know. Uh, now I wonder if she's okay. She's a strong woman. I bet the rotters are actually afraid of her. Maybe she got turned into a rotter, although none were seen are <laughs> none we've seen are big enough. Dude, come on, don't tell her that. Let's go with number two. Jenny laughs. Yeah, strong is a, a good word for her. She always took care of us no matter what the emergency arose. I admire that strength, and maybe it's my turn to show some of that strength as well. Uh, you've been strong enough to survive so far. Okay, good. You gotta keep really supportive, you know? I kinda want a really good ending. In the past, we haven't really had good endings. I think uh, one of our last run, we actually got to the very end, and then all hell broke loose, and well, you guys know how that one worked out. Uh, Michael notices a bunch of supplies laid out along the road. What are those doing here? Those are my supplies. Interested in trade, friend? A strange voice calls out from a distance away. Where are you? Over here, a woman stands up from behind the tall grass. Wanted to make sure you weren't some violent sort I've seen lately. The woman then looks at Jenny and frowns. Oh, honey, what are you doing out here? Jenny frowns back at the woman. I had no choice. I fear for the safety of my child. The woman shakes her head. You poor thing. I can't do much, but I'll give you a little bit. I still need to eat, you know. Jenny smiles. Thank you. Sure thing. How about you trade me something useful now? All right. That, that's a woman? It doesn't really look too feminine to me, game. I'm just throwing it out there. A uh, first aid kit would be very nice. Ten credits, huh? Well, I mean, we do have an extra amount of, um, pistol bullets, which I don't think we'll be using too often, so how about we trade for that 
first aid kit. It could be very useful down the line, so let's do that. And 16 rifle bullets. Honestly, I ha I think we have a lot of um, rifle bullets already, so I don't think I need to trade for them. Although, although thinking about it, I'm not too much of a fan of the pistol bullets myself, so how about we... Or just pistols in general. How about we do trade a few of them away? How many... <clears throat> how many do I get? Well, they have 16 on deck, right? Eh, let's get like... I mean, I guess we cleared them out. <laughs> I guess we cleared them out, that's fine. We still have two left over. I'll just buy this food off of you. Oh, I can't! What if I sell one more bullet? There we go, perfect. Alrighty, that'll do just fine. Um, speaking of which, speaking of hunger, it's time for you guys to eat, huh? Everybody hey, get a meal? What about um, resting here? Can we rest here? Would it be safe? Yeah, it is! Go ahead and get some rest, too. Should've probably rested and then get some food, but whatever, it's fine. We're not that hungry, after all. Uh, map it is, and let's go ahead and hit the road. Actually, we're not too far away from that destination point, it doesn't seem. As long as we hit, like, the long roads ahead. Jenny looks around, I recognize this area. My family used to work around here. Really? Michael looks skeptical, I'm not sure. Jenny rolls her eyes. Come on, trust me, I know what I'm doing. We just need to head over in that direction, I'm pretty sure. Okay, let's try your shortcut. Let's just stay on the road. Now, let's go ahead and trust Jenny. Jenny grins and looks around. No, wait, I was wrong. We need to go this way. Michael smirks. You fill me with confidence. Jenny scowls. Oh, shush. I'm pretty sure this is the right way. Pretty sure? Do you know the area? Want to give me direction? Fine, lead the way. We are... Losing a lot of time here, Jenny. Jenny, I feel like, um, you messed up here. Look at how much time is going on! Jenny leads the way through some fields until she finds a creek. Okay, now we follow this. The walk is calm and peaceful, with no routers in sight. After a while, you find the road. Jenny beams with pride. See, I told you. Nice shortcut, well done. Excuse me? Where, where? That, was that a shortcut, really? <laughs> I don't think this was a shortcut. This is where I was jumping to regardless, right? Maybe we skipped a fight somehow? I don't know. I, I Didn't we jump here before? Something leads me to believe that Jenny is full of shit and she kind of turned us around her for a while. That's just me, though. Um, hey, speaking of which, can you guys go back into position here? That'd be great. Here, and it is time for you guys to eat again, huh? Thanks a lot, Jenny. Great shortcut. Map. No, uh, we have to go through the city. I mean, I'll be honest with you, I'm not- Oh, growls are going high. Oh, no, not the screamers! The screamers are here! Okay, Michael. Uh, let's not miss these shots, huh? Like, for real. Don't don't miss these. These are gonna be... Okay, good. Oh, yeah, good shot, Mark. Much appreciated. Reload, reload. Nice! Jenny got him, though. Jenny, reload. Michael here. Mark here. Jenny over here. Oh, good. Another miss by uh, Mark. Hey, thanks a lot, dog. Doing me a lot of wonders here right now. Oh, good. Everybody's missing. That's fine. You know, this is a pregnant woman up here up front. What's the worst that could happen? <laughs> Oof. Close one. Reload, reload. Getting kind of um, tired here. That's going to be messing with our accuracy for sure. Maybe we get some... Actually, we'll just wait till we get to the town. So many of these growls would relax here. You arrive in Cheriton and cities are great to find supplies, but are also highly dangerous places, so be careful. Okay. Um, I really don't want to look for stuff. I think our supplies are really great. I think we'll only go to the grocery store and then we'll probably get some sleep. I'm going to do 20 for 11% chance of encounter. 11% chance of encounter. Let's think about this for a second. That is like roughly 9 out of 10 times you'd be safe. 9 out of 10 times you'd be safe. Think about that for a second. Alrighty, Michael. Oh, good. They're all grabbers, too. That's exactly what I see. And we're all tired, too. We're all tired. Reload, reload, reload. Four left over. Come on, guys. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, we missed one. Unfortunately, it's time for us to do a little bit of retreating here. Otherwise, we'll get grabbed. And I'm not looking to get grabbed here. Jenny, you might want to pump those legs a bit faster here. Just saying. I know, pregnancy and everything, but still. Boom. Alrighty. Six food rations. I'll take it. Reload, reload, reload. Excuse me. Reload. Bam, bam, bam. Okay. Um, I think we try to get some rest now. Please, no fight. Come on, game. Do me a solid here. That's not a solid. That's not the solid I was looking for. This is like a, a semi-solid snake. It's a liquid. A solidus. Whatever, man. Speaking of, um, 
Solid Snake and Liquid Snake and all that other stuff. <laughs> I just saw... <laughs> I saw a fucking trailer for, um... What was it? Metal Gear Survive. Metal Gear Survive. Have you guys checked this out yet? Go, go check it out if you haven't seen it just yet. I'm not gonna spoil it for you. If you, if you know what I'm talking about, you probably already fully well know what I'm talking about, and, uh, yeah. Metal Gear Survive, huh? That's the next, um, project by Konami. They must really hate Kojima, don't they? Like, these people just hate to love this man at this, mo at this point. Then again, a lot of people do after what Metal Gear Solid V was. It wasn't even 5. I've heard a few, like, um, theories, like, uh, you know, fan theories that it wasn't ever really meant to be Metal Gear Solid 5. That's the reason why, from Metal Gear Solid 4, they went into a V for 5 as opposed to, like, a straight-up number 5. So the see Really? Uh, good good misses, guys. Very good misses. Okay. Hey, uh, Mike, how about you swap over to the old baton here and go crazy on homeboy? Do you need help? No, yeah, you got it. But yeah, I heard like this theory where it wasn't ever really part. It was kind of like a, a spin off of the Metal Gear games. I don't know. I guess these are people dealing with the fact that Metal Gear V was, uh, or Metal Gear Solid V was, um, you know, kind of disappointing. I don't know. I found it to be disappointing myself. If you enjoyed it, hey, good for you, but. Uh, the story, man, the story. Anyway, I'm pretty sure that, um, doesn't pale in comparison to Metal Gear Survive, though, that that much is for sure. Police Baton, I, I'm really not too crazy about Jenny being a melee fighter, but we might pick it up with her. Yeah, I guess we will. Alright, there you go. Wedding Ring, eh, we already got one, right? She already has one. And we're all fine. Now, let's find out if we can finally get some proper rest here. I'll give it one more try. Please. Please let me rest. There we go. So once we wake up, we get some food and we hit the road again. I'll be honest with you, at this pace that we're going, I do feel... Guys, stop sliding in place, okay? Stop doing the electric slide. Um, at this pace that we're going, I think we're hitting that second destination here today. Confirm, get some food in you. Alright, Avery's looking pretty good. Time for us to hit the road. No more dilly-dallying around. We got the supplies needed to really make it far here. Uh, two grabbers, three rotters, okay. Oh, I forgot to switch Michael over to crossbow. That's a... Uh, Mistake I've ever seen one. Two down, two down. Reload, reload. Mike, get that grabber. You here? Oh, oh, good. Nothing like a last second miss, huh, Mark? You've been doing a lot of that here today. Uh, Michael, you might want to retreat here. Just momentarily. There you got him. Reload. Bottle of whiskey. Well, Jenny, I'll have you hold it, but you might not... Actually, let's just have Mark do it. My my, my sources tell me that Jenny was a big drinker prior to um, the pregnancy, so I don't want to give her any ideas over here, you know, drinking while pregnant. Not really the best um, choice of things you could be doing here. Traveling. Okay, in the distance, you spot a raggedy man walking towards you and a stocky mule following right behind. Hello there, stranger, the man, the man says as he gets close, stopping a short distance away. Bill and I aren't looking for any trouble, see, I, but I figure we might make a deal. He gestures to the packs and his mule. If you were to treat us to just a partridge meal, we shall treat you to our rendition of literary masterpiece and maybe a little extra. Well, we do have a lot of food, so let's give the man a single ration. You follow the eclectic pair to a small clearing nearby. You seat yourself for what the man claims to be a performance of Shakespeare's Macbeth. Shortly into the performance, the actor suddenly pulls out a gun from his patchy clothing and aims it at your direction. No! <gasps> My friend, you have absolutely no honor. You don't fucking doll me up in the idea of giving me a Shakespearean play like Macbeth, and then you fucking put a gun out on me. No honor, man. Don't make any sudden moves. Hand over all your food slowly. All of my food? No, we'll fight this guy. Bill the mule bolts away as you prepare to fight. He wanted all my food, guys. I couldn't fight him with all I couldn't give him all my food. We'd be fucked. Considering how much um, you know, Jenny eats. Okay, guys, hey, this is not the time to miss though, okay? You gotta get this kill instantly. Ho ho! You scumbag you. Let me take your pistol bullets now, you you jerk. Trying to be a ruse master over here. Alright, back to the map we go. I don't feel bad about killing that man, I can tell you that much. I mean, now that we actually have three people with um, proper weapons, it's not too bad to take on humans. But then again, if you're dealing with more than one human, different story then. Uh, we have two Screamers and three Ronners. Let's go ahead and bomb, bomb. 
I'm not sure how I feel about this crossable. Initially, I loved it, but now that I have, like, crossbows on all three of my people, it feels like uh, it really makes the game a lot easier. And uh, I just remember how in the past I'd struggle all the time, but man, this is a completely different story now, isn't it? Look at this shit. I mean, I'm not complaining, but I'm just saying. Maybe I should have gone with hard mode after all. Had I only known, man, had I only known. Okay. Everybody dead. Hunger. Eh, we'll wait a bit longer. Travel. After a long trek moving up a mountainside, you stumble across an old monastery, or maybe it's a temple. You're not entirely sure. One of the monks, a short, bald fellow in a thin rope, meets you out front, asking you to come inside and pray. I feel like we've done this one in the past before, and it went bad. Like, I, I, I gave them the benefit of the doubt because they were monks, and then they decided to turn on me, if I remember correctly. So you know what? No. I think these are, these are hacks, these are charlatans, very much like that Shakespeare Macbeth guy. So no, no, I'm gonna say no to that one. I don't trust it whatsoever. Plus, I mean, what is a monastery for monks doing out here in the middle of... Where is this? Where is this sick place, anyway? Is it in the U.S.? I don't know. If it's in the U.S., it doesn't really fly too well with me. Maybe it's a different place. I don't know. It feels like U.S. to me. Um, okay, so we have Destination coming up. Alrighty, I, I get the feeling something bad might happen here, like something really related to the story. Maybe a fight, even. And we're not exactly rested or fed. Jenny nods towards a body of water. That should be Spirit Lake. Michael points to an approaching group of people, and I see a welcome party coming down the road. Jenny slowly sits down in the grass. Hopefully they're friendly. Get ready for trouble? Stay cool for now. <laughs> is that me saying that out loud? Like, I see an approaching party coming at me, and the first thing I say is, Get ready for trouble. Like, at them. Like, it's an alert them to think I'm an asshole. Let's stay cool for now. The other group of approaches you, and a skinny man steps forward, smiling. Welcome to Spirit Lake. You lot looking to join us? Mark steps forward, brushing past Michael. Yeah, well, we heard the radio message. What is your plan? The skinny guy nods, band together. There's talk of someone with a way to get away from the rotters out east. Michael steps around Mark and addresses the speaker. I feel like Michael and Mark having like a really like you know butting heads when it comes who's the leader and whatnot. Especially with Mark's um, talk about my wife, you know, last episode or so. I'm a bit worried about this guy. Sounds interesting. Any more details? That sounds unbelievable. Well, let's actually humor it for now. Someone in the other group stepped forward. Wait a moment, I recognize them. Yeah, and that pregnant woman. They left the camp. Another person speaks up. Oh, the ones the guards were looking for? Yeah, then the camp was attacked. They're to blame. Michael raises his voice. Hey, you can't blame us for that. The other group waits. Uh-oh. Look, if you want trouble, we can give you trouble. We had no idea. We're sorry if we cause problems. Crossbow option. If it's safety you want, take this crossbow. Just leave us alone. We don't want any trouble. Take some of our food. Do I really want to give him my crossbow? Do we have a backup weapon for, um, anybody? If we have crossbows, I'm not sure we have a rifle with anybody or, like, a backup pistol. I guess... Um, to avoid conflict, though, let's go ahead and give him the cross. I don't think it's a good idea, but I'm doing it just for the story purpose related to it. It feels like this is kind of like an important choice, so why not humor it? The skinny man takes the weapon and nods. Yeah, this will do. But this makes us barely even. We don't need the likes of you traveling with us. Michael gives the skinny man a stony look, then turns away. Jenny catches up to Michael and takes his hand. I know how much that cross will mean to you. Thanks. Michael glances back at the other group. Yeah, but looks like we're not welcome here. The group turns and continues down the road. Mark looks at Michael in silence, chewing on his words. Michael gives a small grunt of exasperation. Ah! Those people! His voice trails off. Okay, what now? Jenny clears her throat. I used to live around here. I think I could get us to the house I grew up in. Is it safe? Jenny shrugs. I don't know. But it would be familiar. Well, I don't have any better ideas right now. Let's go. Well, so much for that, huh? So much for that. Jenny's old house. Next map over. Well, that was a... That was a bullshit... Quest, I gotta tell you, we just lost the bow. Uh, I'm not crazy about this. Could I at least, like, rest here? No, it's a risky zone, of course. Well, let's eat first, for sure, and then we'll consider resting. Um, let's, let's see what's happening here. So, I lost my crossbow, not happy about it, but we do have some backups. Any other long-range weapons to back up? No. Nope. So, uh, Mark, you're going back to melee duty, my friend. That's the reason why Mark hates me so much, because I always put him in melee duty. Uh, crossbow right here. Okay, Mark, you're back to using the axe dog with the screamers out there, too. That's going to be fun. 
Alrighty. In hindsight, maybe the crossbow wasn't the best option. I know that wasn't the best option. I feel like it wasn't, but I figure it played more to the story of DLC to, you know, because the crossbow seemed very, very important to the story. I don't know. So, let's see. We've done that. We're tired. Let's try to get some rest here, see if it works out. Confirm. Somebody should have stayed awake for this, but whatever. Hey, we got our rest at least done. Okay, so you up here. You up front, you over here. And let's hit the road. Day number eight. Day number nine. We're, we're making good progress, though. The group turns the corner right into a grisly scene. Bodies are strewn across the road, both human and rotter, with blood everywhere. Jenny falls backward onto the road, her mouth covering her... Her mouth covering her mouth? <gasps> oh my. How many mouths does Jenny have? <laughs> oh, no wonder Mike's really into her. If you can't... Okay, I'm gonna stop right now. I guess that should say her mouth covering her... <laughs> her hand covering her mouth is what I probably meant. Uh, she just keeps muttering, No, 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 no. Jenny, we're safe. They're just bodies. Let's get you up and out of here. I've seen worse. Let's get the second one. Mark goes to Jenny and grabs her arm. You get that side? Let's get her out of here. Michael grabs Jenny's other arm, and the two holler away from the scene of carnage. Sobs shake Jenny's body. You're okay now. You're okay. After putting some distance behind them, Michael and Mark help Jenny to the side of the road and sit her down gently. Jenny looks at Michael. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm so sorry. I couldn't move. I just... I saw our child out there, dead, killed by rotters. Michael turns pale. I'm sorry, that sounds horrific, but we're safe now. You're safe. Jenny wipes her eyes and nods. I'm fine now. I think I can walk. Okay, we should get out of here. Mark fumes. He looks upset about what just happened. What's wrong? We don't have time for this. What, what is wrong this time, Mark? Mark rolls his eyes at Michael. That was real smooth. Michael frowns. What do you mean? i never seen someone screw up so badly before. Get your head in the game or get ready to lose it. Mark turns away, ready to continue the journey. Oh, fuck. Okay. You, you, you explain to me right now, Mark, how I had the foresight to know that this road was gonna have, like, fucking, uh... A catastrophe of bodies all over the road, huh? Fuck this guy. What about you? You're in the same road as I am. I'm sorry, I'm getting invested into the story here, but fuck Mark. I don't like this guy at all. Fuck him. I don't even need him. He's got an axe now. He just got, he's got no crossbow. He's no longer worth my time and effort. <laughs> I know it's my fault for no crossbow, mind you, but still. I prefer to blame him than blame myself. I hope we get to the cessation time. There we go. There we go. Hold it right there, shouts a masked man. The moment you see a guy with a mask, it's never a good idea. Or never a good um outcome. There's no need for anyone to get hurt. Just slowly give me all your food and you can go unharmed. All of these fuckers just want to take all my food, don't they? Okay. Well, uh, I'm worried that uh, the mark has no weapon for one. But um, since we're... Quite tired and a bit hungry. Our accuracy is gonna probably falter here a little bit, but let's go for it. No, oh, that's all it took. I'll take those rations and a police baton. I feel like I have enough of those now, right? Yeah, we're fine here. Reload. Jenny over here, you over here, and we might as well get some food. Not the ideal place to rest, so I'm gonna hold off for that a bit longer. We're not too far from the third map, oddly enough. I love this fast-forward feature, man. I mean, like, without that, the game takes a lot longer because the traveling from one area to the other one is, like, very slow, but with the fast-forward feature, it's amazing. Uh, the slowed, loud reports of a single rounds being fired snaps you to attention. Concerned that you might end up in someone's field of fire, you move cautiously towards the source. Soon enough, you spot a, uh, an out-of-place bush, complete with a, sco a scoped rifle sticking out. Weapons prepared, you call out a greeting. Hi! The bush calls back in a friendly tone, ushering you over. <laughs> the bush is talking to us. Turns out that the bush is in fact a man with a ghillie suit. Oh, really? You, you, you serious about that? It's an actual person. I never would have thought. I thought it was a bush that actually talked. And that he was being hunting. He was hunting rotters basically for sport. The number of corpses lying in the open field in front of you is quite impressive. If I had a loaded rifle, I could spark up a shooting competition. But unfortunately, I don't. So we have to walk away. You quietly walk away from the scene, bidding the man farewell. You feel as if you have better things to do. Better places to be. I don't know about that. I would have loved to have, like, you know, recruited that guy. Maybe if we had a loaded rifle, we probably would have been able to recruit him. But, um, we don't. As a matter of fact, next city, we should probably start looking for a backup weapon for Mark. Uh, the group comes to a crossroads, puzzled which way to go. Jenny points to some buildings along the side of the crossroad. We should go check out those buildings. They look abandoned, but they might still have some supplies. Uh, sure, let's see if we can find anything useful. Mark creeps forward, looking for trouble. Let's split up. We cover more ground that way. 
He heads into some of the buildings. Jenny stops Michael. Stay with me. I'm gonna need help carrying stuff. Okay, let's check this building. Michael and Jenny enter a building and search around. It looks like it was used as a living quarters with a few camp beds, a table and chairs, and a hot plate. Jenny goes over to dig through the debris near the beds while Michael looks uh, at the eating area. Unfortunately, the only food left now is spoiled after sitting out so long. Michael turns away from the smell quickly. You find anything good? Jenny sits on one of the camp beds, a compact in one hand and lipstick in the other. Michael laughs, what are you doing? Jenny gets very self-conscious. I just found some makeup and... Her voice trails off. You had to try it? Jenny looks away and asks in a quiet voice, Do you still find me attractive? Yes, even without the makeup? I don't think that's important. We should focus on surviving. Ah, eh, sure. Humor. I mean, she pr I probably do find her attractive still, but, you know, maybe she's having issues now with the pregnancy, and, you know, we probably, nobody in this group looks really good considering we're, you know, surviving from one land to another here. Jenny's eye spills over with tears, streaking the makeup she just applied. I've just felt so plain. This is one thing, she says, putting her hand on her stomach, but then just running and running and no time to. Michael sits down next to her and pulls her into a hug. You're the same beautiful woman I fell in love with. I felt in love with. He felt in love with her. He wasn't he wasn't in love with her, he just felt in love with her. <laughs> okay, that's that should probably be feel. Let's go with that one. Michael's words are interrupted by Mark knocking at the door. Oh look, it's uh, Mr. Designated Conk Block. Mark frowns. Oh, what are you two doing in here? Find anything interesting in here? Michael shakes his head and points over the eating area. Nope. The food's all rotten. How about you? Mark motions and Michael and Jenny follow him outside. He pulls some items out of his knapsack and shows them to Michael. I didn't find much, but here's some possible useful items. Let's take a look and then continue on our way. Oh my goodness, God. <laughs> yeah, I'll take everything. Good job, Mark. I guess that'll give you a, a pass in my book for now. Can we get some rest here? No. So, I'm gonna say, Mark, you stay up, dog. You stay up and watch out for any Zambros. Let's wake up now. And the growls are going a bit higher. I think we'll probably give Mark rest elsewhere. So let's just eat for now. And hit the road again. Hmm. One, two, three, exit, huh? Okay, we might just... Oh, wait, we have to jump here first. Gotcha. Uh oh Uh, Mark, there's uh, screamers in front of you. We were too separated for this one. Uh, Mark, retreat momentarily. You two move forward. In that same vein, take a shot over here and take a shot over here. Got him. Reload, reload. Back, back, back. Mark, we might get you involved with this one here, buddy. Let me just thin out the numbers here a little bit. There you go, Mark. Serve a useful purpose here, huh? Come on, buddy. There you go. Double barrel shotgun. That'll help out, Mark. We have 54 shotgun bullets. Yeah, let's do it. So, Mark, take the double barrel shotgun. Equip it for now. Reload yourself, my friend. You should probably be closer because it has a, a smaller range, I have to imagine. So, oh, no, not you. Not you. Mark, over here. How long have I been recording? <laughs> One second, guys. Alright, yeah, more than enough. Alright, guys, we're gonna wrap it up here for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a thumbs up, leave a like to support me a lot. I will catch you next time.